here. Part 11, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. This is the first game that we played so far that breaks 10. Yeah, because we we've been stopping it. Uh, yeah. At ten, I think Luigi's Mansion ended at ten. This, yep. this, but we beat Luigi's Mansion, so yep. this one keeps going. Well, this is a much longer game than Luigi's Mansion. Oh yeah, but it's, we played a lot, a lot of other games too, but uh, we haven't finished a lot of them. Uh, yes. I think Mega Man Five or V might break ten, or might, yeah, might, or might, that up. might end on ten if we just finish it. If we ever pick that up, there's two more parts left to it. I know, but it is the most ridiculous parts. Yeah. Okay, we got uh, Mario Brown here. <laughs> Marty! <laughs> Mario! <laughs> <laughs> he is Mario. You gotta come back he... with me! <laughs> Why would he be screaming his own name? No. Ooh. Purple points. How's life been going since the last time we played Odyssey? Uh, you know what? I mean... Got a new oven. We got a new oven. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Fantastic. Phenomenal. That's great. Um... Alright, we already got a moon. All right, a minute nice. into this episode, we already got a moon. All right, that's nice. That can be seen as both a good thing and a bad thing at the, at, about the quality of this game. Yeah. That's why I always hate the water levels, though. I always hate the water levels. Water levels are always the worst I levels in every them. game. I know. Like, I don't understand why they just keep doing them, because they're just annoying. They're not fun. Now I can't die. That's kind of cool, though. Now you're a cheap cheap. Now I can't drown. Oh, well, this is fun, isn't it? Yeah. You, you, is that Atlantis? Sort of. Atlanta oh. Square Pantus. That was a good special. I don't care what anyone said. I, I enjoyed that. <laughs> <laughs> I never actually finished it. I, just, I only saw like parts of it on TV. I should go watch that now. Everyone says the music sucks, but... Uh... I enjoyed the song. I did, too. I, I always enjoy it when Squidward <clears throat> sings. <laughs> Yes, yes, that's grand. Well, what's this? A P. Okay, now those purple things, they're different in like every world. Mm -hmm. Like the color and shape. Um, so, you know, make sure you get those. There's 50 of them. <laughs> oh, yeah? Is that and what I should do? You have... I 100% this game. <laughs> like back November of 2017. You 100%ed this. There's, you get 999 moons. Didn't you 100% Sunshine, too? Yep. I've, I've 100% in every Mario game. Wow. Except for Mario 2 on the NES, because I never beat it yet. I beat the Game Boy Advance remake, though. Really? Yeah. Jeez. I am uh, a little obsessed with Mario. I don't know if I've ever completely oh. beat any Mario games. Or any... I've beaten I don't know. all three of the originals. I might have beaten the third one with you. We might have done that one. Yeah, I beat. Oh, we and a couple of the Mega Man games. Yeah, we've done. Yeah, that's not Mario. Yeah, no, Mario one, two, general. and three. Yeah, okay. I've beaten all of them once, at These least games once. Are so big. The first one I've beaten a couple times. The and first what Mario? The first Mario I've beaten a couple times. The second one I beat once as Luigi. Uh, the third one I've beaten like probably three or four times. Huh. Like three or four times all the way through. I've beaten it a couple times by skipping ahead to World 8. Oh, yeah. That's which, usually which, how I did it. Which sometimes really screws you up. Because you, you have, have no lives. Items. You have no items. Yeah, that. And you have no lives either. <laughs> Ooh, it's I'm Pharaoh. Trying to I'm just King trying to think of... Pharaoh Koopa. Oh, no, it's Ooh. a wedding gown. That's, that's George Washington Goomba. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm trying to think of like a lot of Mario games. So you beat you 100% of the galaxies then too. Oh yeah, I've beat I've 100% of them a couple times because I love playing the Mario Galaxy games. I've gotten to like the last worlds of the Mario ones and I've beat them, but I never really went and beat the like the star levels afterwards, like in uh, New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Mm -hmm. Like World Nine is like a star world. I didn't oh, those beat are that. Ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, they're ridiculous. So I, I didn't beat that, but I got all the way up to I beat World Eight. I think New yeah. Super Mario Brothers Wii, I beat 100, percent but I don't. I didn't beat a New Super Mario Brothers U 100 percent because that that one level in there is like ridiculous. Oh, uh, when we say 100, percent we mean every single level, right? Not not just all the worlds. Yeah, that means every level, every okay. coin and star and all that stuff. Star coin. All that. Okay. So uh, I guess the one Mario game I have 100 percent was New Super Mario Brothers U. Now that I think of it. 
There's something about New Super Mario Bros. U that just isn't as fun as New Super Mario Bros. Wii, and I can't really, really? put my finger I on it. Really? I thought it would be better. You'd think so, and I was hoping so, but it, it's like the design of it seems a lot more, like, easy. <laughs> and, like, until you get to the Star World, and then they get stupid. Mm-hmm. We have 24 out of 50 of them already, and it haven't even been, like, it's been less than seven minutes. That's not and, saying And well. you don't think this is easy? Like, too easy? Uh, I do, actually. Really? <laughs> yeah, I was kind of disappointed in Mario Odyssey. Are you serious? You just said you 100%ed it and everything. Yeah, I 100%ed it, but I was still disappointed with my overall experience, because <laughs> it was way too easy. I beat the entire thing in, like, mm. two weeks. Well, some people who are disappointed with it don't go all the way through. Yeah, but I am, because I'm obsessed. Yeah. <laughs> alright, alright, fine, so... He's a little lost. So, in comparison, this one versus New Super Mario Bros. U, which is better? Probably this one, of course. New Super Mario Bros. U is just derivative and boring. Wow. What do you think of Super Mario Party? It's boring. <laughs> it's not very good, because it's just, uh... Ooh. It's, uh... It just seems like they could have done so much more, but they didn't. Yeah. It just seems like it's, like, a cheap knockoff rather than, like, the actual game. Okay. All right. Johnny? I thought it was good. A little, uh... Lost. A little underwhelming, but... Yeah. It wasn't bad. Definitely not as much. It's, it's, what, it's what I'd expect from, like, a Game Boy type of thing. That's what I was... Yeah, like, but it's not that's the Game Boy. That's my point. To like a, uh, yeah, but that's just because it's, like, a... Like, but Game Boy games aren't bad, though, you know? No, or, or... but I don't feel like paying well, if, if full price for a Game Boy game, you know? I feel like... If, well, it's like Game Boy had its games, but then like when they made a game that was like another game, it was always mm -hmm. condensed. Ex exactly, that's, that's what I'm saying. It feels like a condensed version of like a GameCube Mario Party. Yeah, but it is the next generation. <laughs> it is 2018. I should sure. be playing like the condensed version. Sure. That's why I don't like Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, because it's like condensed Luigi's Mansion. Okay. Well, have you played Dark Moon? Um, like the a animation, couple levels. Uh, the animation and stuff is really fun. Yeah, a couple. Yeah, I played a couple levels of it. It's, it's fun. Like I had a fun time playing it back in 2012, but I haven't played it and had any desire to play it since then. Mm -hmm. And I play Luigi's Mansion over o over and over again. I play that once a year. Mm -hmm not really hard to do. You can play it in one sitting. Yeah. It's traditional. Yeah. For me. Because I'm stupid. I think it is a nice, refreshing uh, Mario Party game. Yeah, it's, it's like you kind of need cause, it. Because they haven't done any good Mario Party for, like, since GameCube days. Yeah, even... Yeah, exactly. Even though it's small, it's like just a little taste of what you miss, I guess. Yeah. It's not like a huge, full-on blown out huge game like like the GameCube ones were it's small it's quicker it's smaller but it's it takes away the car thing and you can freely move the board and it feels much more competitive too for some reason I guess because it's so condensed you yeah know? there's like, no ch there's no like leeway time yeah exactly I'm really trying to get into the Metroid games too I just haven't had the time oh those are so good that's what I hear how many did you play Johnny you played um, the Prime games, right? I've done the original one, all the Metroid Prime games, including the third one for the Wii, which I didn't find out existed until like eight years after it came out. <laughs> okay. I remember you playing Metroid Prime 1 and 2 on GameCube, because that's when me and you would uh, play uh, Agent Under Fire and stuff on multiplayer and stuff, and you'd always yeah. play some of that too. It was like around that same time. Yeah. They're, they're really... Actually, I don't want to do that. <laughs> Not yet. That's definitely something you would like because it's super, like, explory. Mm -hmm. Me or Sean? Him. Oh. I like the explory games. They're fun. Like they're huge. It's like you continually have to go back to different parts of the world when you get new stuff to mm -hmm. further explore stuff. That's mm -hmm. kind of, I kind of like and dislike that at the same time because I don't like retracing my steps all the time. But at the same time, like, if there's something to it that makes it more interesting to go back, I well, guess. You, you go back and get <clears throat> upgrades and stuff, yeah. so it's, like, it's really worth it. Yeah, but you can, a lot, some of it you have to do, but some, uh, 
Yeah, a fair amount of it is uh, yeah not necessarily needed. Like like a uh, okay, Mortal Kombat Shaolin monks. This looks Wait, like you the... have to keep going back and this look yeah this looks like Mortal Kombat four when they keep falling down. Yeah, it's the like end. the death screen of Mortal Kombat four. <laughs> yeah, is that actually what you were gonna say? Yep. Uh, really? No, yeah, uh, Shaolin monks. So you have to keep going back into the levels and redoing. Well, not redoing it, but you go back and you get like a new upgrade or something. That was fun because it's different. You're going back for like a uh, like an upgrade or grabbing another weapon or something like that. And uh, we're finding a new passage. But then you quickly get out of it. You don't have to redo the whole level. You just mm -hmm. go back, peek in, and peek out, and you're done. Like that kind of stuff I like. Yeah. But I don't like... That's pretty similar to like Metroid, but you might not necessarily know what you're looking for. For the first game, I followed a strategy guide. Yeah, that's like the first Zelda. You have to use as that strategy guide. Or well, that's, that's the thing. I it. followed it step by step, and I still got lost multiple times. Well, we don't have strategy guides anymore. I mean, you have more now than there ever have been, thanks to the internet. Well, internet. I'm talking physical. Yeah, physical instruction guides. manuals that come with the games. That's dead. Yeah. Well, not exactly. They still sell a couple. Well, if you want to sell separately. I mean, yeah. you can you can buy the actual big handbook strategy guide you know like the yeah. big magazine like that yeah that's cool that's full and has all that stuff in it like, i'm i actually collect some of those but um <clears throat> as far as the actual game cartridge itself oh. coming with something that you know goes in the box oh yeah they don't come with anything that's why i don't do even buy the physical games anymore because they don't come with anything that makes me want to keep them they just you just get it gets more annoying to swap out the cartridges now yeah who, who are we oh. gonna fight this time my goodness. Um, the tall one. It's your upbringing. <laughs> get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. This get the Easter Bunny. This one's really easy. Get the Easter Bunny. So what happens when you run out of uh, those bunnies uh, to defeat? I think you have to defeat them all again. Oh, really? Yeah. They just keep recycling the same four? Basically. Okay. This one's really easy. Reminds me of Jethro. <laughs> Jethro de Bodine. Ricky Skaggs. Ricky Skaggs. Nobody's gonna know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> that's the funniest name. Yeah. I wonder if that's his real name. Uh, probably. I. That's a, that's a very unfortunate Skaggs. name. Skaggs. Sounds yeah. like he's got like, like scabs or something. Or, or some sort of skin disease. Alright. That's a good episode right there. That's nice. That's a good little summed up episode. I think that's enough that we could go to the next world. Like, we've already beaten this entire world. Awesome. Awesome. Go ahead. <laughs> Just get out of the water world. Just get out of the water. I hate the water world. I want to see another one. All I'd right. rather go on to, you know. Is that what you'd rather do? Let's, I'd, I'd rather see more. Explore more, is you that, know. Is that really what you That was think? a good sum up of a good, nice, big, overworld, nice thing. That's crazy. How short these like all the all the stars are basically bonus. You can beat this game in a day <laughs> just by getting the bare minimum of what's necessary. Mm. Cuz I beat an entire world in 15 minutes. That's kind of what I mean when I think this is a little too easy. Well, there's like yeah, eight but worlds, you like to but, you like to collect everything and go yeah, back to replay if, value. Yeah, but if you're not trying to get everything, then you could you could get it through the game in a couple hours. Yeah. Bye. Thanks for eating at Burger Chop. Mm.